According to all the signals and warnings coming out of Tehran, Iran is determined to seek revenge over the assassination of its top IRGC figures in Damascus this week. The failure of the Israeli regime in Gaza will definitely continue as well as these desperate efforts like what they did in Syria. Of course they will be slapped for this action. While not officially commenting to the strike, Israel is on high alert. The IDF says it's bolstering air defenses and is calling up reservists while issuing calming messages to the public that there is no need to stockpile on emergency items or to withdraw money. And growing fear over Tehran's threatened response hasn't gone unnoticed in Iran. Pro-regime social media accounts have begun highlighting internal panic over the expected retaliation with pro-state media like ultra-conservative Kaihan newspaper highlighting mounting protests inside Israel, prompting Iranian President Raisi to accuse Israel of being, quote, weaker than a spider's web. Trampling on all international and humanitarian laws, including this entity's attack on the Iranian Republic's consulate in Damascus, which will not remain without a response, indicates the pinnacle of failure and loss of the Zionist entity, which tries by all means to cover up its crimes against humanity by committing more crimes. Whether meant for internal consumption or psychological warfare, Iran is highlighting Israel's growing strategic and diplomatic predicament. And whatever the Iranian response may be, its effects can be felt even before it's been dealt.